dream. I'm in this, like, you need to get in touch with your feelings, man. I came to Tarna because I heard they had these neat pyramids here. I heard from the tribesmen that somewhere in the jungle is a tree they call Mother of the World. You tell about how you helped the enchanted tree woman Julinar regain some hope while you were in Shapir. Oh, yeah. How extraordinary. You tell Salim about your experiences with the Guardian. Great cosmic karma cookies. You tell the apothecary how you got the gift from the heart of the world. What goes around comes around. You tell how to get the water from the pool of peace. I knew there was one out in the savannah. Hey, like, I can't make the potions without the stuff. You say goodbye to the apothecary. Live long and prosper. Have a splendiferous day. Stop you. Oh, I pulled a couple of old... They don't age well. Greetings. Jumping rope is good for the building of muscles. Yeah, okay. Hello. Hey, you. Blondie. You gotta help me. Listen, I'm begging you. I gotta help meet me in this bazaar tonight. I need you to help me. Hey, you deaf or something? You gotta help me. You agree to meet with the thief. Good. Tonight. Here in the bazaar. I'll find you. Iron out the walking mechanics in these games. Hello, hair of sunshine. What can I do for you? I will bring your meal right out. Here's your feast. May it please you. Mmm, this food looks strange, but smells delicious. You pay the welcome woman for your meal. Be welcome, and may you enjoy it. Enjoy your meal. It was very tasty, even if it was a bit strange. It's not really nighttime yet. Have we been in here yet? We haven't been in here. Welcome, young hero. You will find us in the back parlor. Couldn't find the exit. <laughs> hey, yo. I can sell you a tape drive from a banana PC junior. Believe it or not, I think there was actually a product called Pear at one time. They were trying to... Tomatoes, tamalans, mangoes, and manioc. I just had dinner. That's how I can resist. There he is. You came. You don't know how glad I am to see you. Just to have someone to talk to. You gotta help me. Big deal, I thought. What kind of punishment is losing honor? It means no one can talk to me. It means no one even looks at me. I've got no place to stay except in the tents of the bazaar at night. I don't know what to do. I'm starving. The only food I can get is some meat that the dog guy leaves behind at night. Jeez, it's a good thing it's still warm at night or I'd freeze to death. I heard you were trying to stop this war. Then maybe I can get away to some place where they only cut off your hand if they catch you stealing. Look, call me Harami, please. How was I supposed to know there was a, going to be no more caravans coming here? Next thing I know, I'm caught and they bring up all kinds of things they say I stole. 
Man, I just want to get as far from here as I can. I hear the merchants talking about wolf all the time. You don't know how good it is to hear someone say that to me. Thanks, pal. Getting dark. You awaken as the sun begins to rise. Look forward to seeing those in the future. Maybe sooner. Maybe. Welcome back. You'll find us in the back parlor. I don't know where the back parlor is. Whoa. Did I walk in on something I wasn't supposed to see? Welcome back. I hope you have found your stay with the Simbani to be pleasant. It is good to see you again, Prince of Shapir. I have spoken with Raja while you have been gone. I have worked much magic while you were away, and still I have no real evidence that there are demons here. You greet Rakesh Shiji. I hope you've enjoyed your adventure so far. It's always a pleasure to see you. Every time I try to use my magical powers of Farsi to detect the demons, the spell tends to be drawn eastward. If I allow it to move eastward, it is suddenly drawn away from me. It could be that a gate orb is absorbing my magic. A gate orb opens a gate between worlds which would allow demons to cross into our world. Oh, it's the Oblivion Gate. It takes an incredible amount of magical energy to keep the world gate open. A gate orb absorbs magic to open the world gate. I do not dare use much magic to detect this orb, for it will only absorb my magic and allow more demons to cross into this world. There are many types of demons. Some are mindless creatures of destruction, some are merely stupid, and some are very intelligent capable of using magic. All demons thrive upon killing living things. The Leopardmen village is east of here, but my magic is drawn further east than where I believe the Leopardmen live. There is rumored to be a lost city somewhere far to the east. It is possible that is where my magic is drawn. Whenever I leave my house, I feel as if I am being watched. I, too, have the feeling that something is watching me when I leave this place. My house is protected magically. If there's something watching and listening to us, we should be able to speak openly only here. Be careful, Prince, for things may be watching you as well. You tell about the things you have done so far in Tarna. There are many more experiences for you to discover here, I am sure. When you explore the bazaar, do not forget to visit the money changer. Didn't we do that on like day one? Raj can be very stubborn at times. Just like his brother, after all, Rakesh. Perhaps we are a lot alike. Still, I wish I could convince him that vengeance will not bring Rashaka back, nor will war help anyone other than vultures and demons. Raja was always fond of Rashaka. He asked her to lead the peace mission, which is why he feels her loss to be his own fault. I too mourn my daughter, but I am not so foolish as to think revenge on the leopard men will ease the loss. Raja prefers to drown his sorrows in blood, Krisha. Raj would have all Tarna rise up against the Leopard Men in order to punish them for daring to attack the peace mission. There was no real proof that it was the Leopard Men who actually ambushed the peace mission, only vague talk of claws and magic. I know, right? It's all circumstantial. The spear is somehow the key to this Simbani war. If the spear were returned to the Simbani, then perhaps the Laban will speak of peace. I'm asking you to find the spear, my friend. If the leopard men do have it, it will be very difficult to regain. But I know that you can do it. The leopard men village is hidden by strong magic. 
You will need the aid of a leopard man in order to find the village. My injured hind leg pains me greatly. It is difficult to walk upon it now. Rakesh, I believe the demon wizard who injured your leg may still have some link to you through it and is causing you this pain. If the demon wizard is linked to you still, he may be watching your actions. Fortunately, the Prince of Shapir cannot be so closely watched by the demon wizard. Let us hope that is true. You say goodbye. You say goodbye. I'll say hello. Hello, hello. May you enjoy Tarna. What you ordered from UPS? It'd be nice to be able to double click so this thing will go faster. Oh, your order's taking a while? Yeah, well, that's a supply chain issue. You hear a deep voice echoing in your head. Release your of darkness has returned. The hoarse, slow female voice again fills your head. You're not buying stuff anymore. Has the doom of Tarna brought the gem of the guardian? The male voice responds. The opener of the world gates does have the gem. Hear the female voice once more. Then he shall be judged. Uh oh. That's not good. Hear me, O priestess, O Setmat, mother of Tarna. There stand before you shall be judged. His soul shall be weighed against the feather of truth, and the future shall be revealed. Ah, yes, the feather of truth. Drink now, soul that shall be weighed. May you balance the feather of truth. Eh, close enough. Ooh, you feel yourself floating bodilessly in a strange place. Ooh, those were high-resolution graphics back in the day. A deep, strange voice speaks, Choose that which you were. Well, I'm a fighter. That would be the sword, right? The deep voice speaks again. Pharaoh of the country you now live in has called for war against the country of your birth. You are ordered to serve as a leader in his army. What do you do? What do you do? Take the position and serve your new country as an officer in the army. Refuse to fight your own former countrymen and leave the kingdom. Take the position in the army and try to make your battles as bloodyless as possible by skillful use of strategy and tactics. Ask the pharaoh about the cause of this war and try to convince him that there is a peaceful alternative. Accept the position with zeal. Look forward to getting revenge upon your former school teachers. 
and all the other people who never really liked your homeland. Hmm. Well, the whole point of this game is to try and find a peaceful solution, right? A deep, strange voice, choose that which you are. Fighter? You hear the voice again. You're the ruler of a small kingdom. A neighboring king claims that a piece of land you hold is rightfully his and threatens war if you do not cede the land to him. What do you do? Launch a preemptive strike. No, it never, never do. Preemptive is never the answer. Allow your neighbors to take back the land. Channel all your resources into building up your army. Investigate the situation and set up a peace conference with your neighbor so you can negotiate agreements acceptable. Even though your neighbor is in the wrong, you don't want to fight, apologize, see, uh, no, we got to investigate the issue. Why are they saying? You hear the voice, choose that which you will be. How many times do I got to do this? Three swords stand before you. One has a hilt of gold and jewels. One has a hilt of silver. Strange ruins engraved upon its blade. The third has a hilt of jet and the blade is black. Choose. You choose the sword with the jeweled hilt. You do not take the sword. You take the sword with the black hilt. The silver hilt. You take all the swords. <laughs> take all the swords? Huh. I don't know what kind of question that is. I'm a fighter. But do I take the sword? Or do I not take the sword? Or do I take all the swords? Do I collect swords? Just because I have the swords doesn't mean I use it. I'll take all the swords. Thy soul has been weighed. The soul is not in balance with the truth. Ye have been judged. What? Ye are not worthy for the future to be revealed. Go. Did I lose? You awaken to find yourself in your room. You were judged and found wanted. I know, right? I don't understand. What did I do? Is it because I took all the swords? Or is it because being a fighter who wants peace is an oxymoron? Well, we we have a mission. We still need to find the feather of a bird, and we still need to find the venomous vine. But I think instead of me wandering around the savanna again, call it there. I'll do. I'll I'll wander around the savanna off camera. And then once I have those ingredients, we'll come back next Saturday and see if we can make it a little bit farther into the game. How's that sound?